Good day viewers and thanks for tuning in to Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with the free petrochemicals news show. You're watching the petrochemical market synopsis with me, Pratiksha Jaipal. It's Monday, November 1st. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude oil prices climbed higher last Friday on expectations that the organization of the petroleum exporting countries and its allies will continue the current crude oil production levels and keep the oil market supply tight. Brent futures edged higher by six cents, settling at $84.38 per barrel, while WTI futures gained by 76 cents, settling at $83.57 per barrel. Last Friday, open spec NAFTA prices rose by five US dollars per metric ton to the 792 US dollars per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Last week, despite higher upstream cost, ethylene prices were assessed stable in Asia. Demand trends were reported to be sluggish across the Asian regions. Last week, propylene prices witnessed a sharp fall in Asia. Reports of improved product availability and sluggish buying sentiments pressured prices lower in Asia. Weaker downstream PP demand and pricing trends further supported the price drop. Let's take a look at futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today. On November 1st, 2021, LLDP prices are higher by 35 RMB per metric ton at the 8,800 RMB per metric ton. PP prices are stable at 8,679 RMB per metric ton. PVC prices are lower by 55 RMB per metric ton at the 9,065 RMB per metric ton. MEG prices are steady at 5,481 RMB per metric ton. Moving on to plant news. Singapore refining company has taken off stream its FCC unit on October 24, 2021 owing to technical issues. Further details on the duration of the shutdown could not be ascertained. Located in Singapore, the FCC unit has a propylene capacity of 180,000 metric ton per year. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Surat-based MRK Industries LLP, one of the largest sellers of packaging films in India. MRK Industries LLP offers a full range of packaging films from 7 to 70 microns, which includes BOPP films, CPP films, metallized films and PT films. If you like our video, don't forget to click on the bell icon to subscribe to our free news channel and like this video by giving us a thumbs up. It motivates us to continue to bring you this free informative news service on a daily basis. That's all for today. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update with me, Pratik Shah Jaipal from Mumbai. Many thanks for watching.